This video highlights some of the new and updated features of Brightspace Learning Environment 10.6.4. Instructors can now be set up to only view or view and edit files in the Shared Files area as a result of the newly created Browse Shared Files and Upload Edit Delete Shared Files permissions under the Manage Files tool. This feature implements PI IDEAS D1522 and D2705. Instructors can store templates and files in the Shared Files area and other instructors can import these files into their course when creating content. In this example, select another instructor's shared file and click Add to include it in your course offering. If instructors with the Browse Shared Files permission try to edit a file in the Shared Files area, they are prompted to save a copy of the file in the Course Offering Files area. If instructors have both the Browse Shared Files and Upload Edit Delete Shared Files permissions, they are prompted to either save a copy of the file they want to edit in the Course Offering Files area create a new file within the Shared Files area, or overwrite the existing file within the Shared Files area. Instructors can now upload all file types, with the exception of executable files, to Content. From Content, click Upload Create, and select Upload File. Then, choose the file you want to share with your learners. and click Add. Learners will be able to download the file linked to within their course content without encountering an error. However, they will need to access the software required to open the file. Many new features and functionality have been introduced for intelligent agents. This feature implements PI items D158, D2312, D157, D2884, D1979, D1158, D1159, and D2858. A new history page allows users to see information about the most recently executed run. To view this history page, from the Agent list, click the Context menu for an Intelligent Agent, and select View History. This page allows users to see each time the agent runs, which users it identifies, what emails have been sent, and details on any errors that occurred during the agent run. A practice run mode has been added for running intelligent agents. From the agent list, click the context menu for an intelligent agent and select practice run. Confirm that you want to try a practice run of the agent. This runs the agent and reports back a list of users who met the specified criteria. Users identified at a practice run are not notified or emailed. A practice run does not count as an action when using the Take Action only the first time the agent's criteria are satisfied for a user type of agent. Practice runs are logged in the agent's history. Instructors can now set custom values for the name that emails come from and reply to address for responses so that the automated emails can appear to come from the instructor instead of from a help desk. To set these values, from Intelligent Agents, click Settings. Then, click Set Custom Values for this course and fill in the fields as desired. If instructors want their emails to continue to come from a help desk and do not want to have a reply to function, they do not have to take any action to maintain the existing behavior. When creating an agent, the agent name field now has an available length of 128 characters. And messages no longer have a character limit. Users can now copy intelligent agents within the same course. Click the context menu for an agent and select Copy. The copy is called Copy of followed by the name of the agent copied. The agent is turned off by default. Existing intelligent agents without any conditions attached to them no longer run and will not contact users. 
When an empty agent is triggered, it fails and is automatically turned off. The configuration variable associated with instructor's ability to specify a different number of quiz attempts allowed for individual learners is now turned on by default. In the config variable browser, D2L Tools Quizzing Allow Special Access for Attempts is now turned on by default.